Hello, I'm Anand Narsaman from the four-year Integrated Supreme program. I joined Fiji in the middle of seventh, just before eighth, when it was it was really a last-minute decision. It was uh, a girl from my school had done really well in in both the Big Bang and FTRE exams, and she had got hundred percent scholarships. And and her mother told my mother, and he was like, "Yeah, it's a really good opportunity." just go for it it doesn't really matter how your son does but if he if he gets into it he'd be really motivated by all the people there and all the teachers there who would be who would elevate his game who would push him above and help him unlock his full potential i was happy where i was i was just doing my best scoring decently in all school exams but nothing more so so that was why my mother pushed me to write the exam and the exam itself was not something i had actually done before it was sitting for 6 hours in the same place 3 plus 3 and now i know it's it's meant to be a simulation for the real je advanced exam but at that point it was just like okay my mother's just forcing me to write let's just go and write it and so i really like maths and so the teacher there was also really encouraging he was he was encouraging me to solve advanced problems in Fiji's uh, packages and even explore further and solve compendiums. My whole 8th standard was just uh, me developing interest in what I was actually studying and that really helped me when I went to 9th. So in the middle of 8th, uh, as now, now I'm in a Fiji program so I don't need to hear about Fiji from anywhere else. I, the coordinators are constantly pushing you, they're like, there's this exam here, write it. There's Big Bang, there's FTRE, there's everything. We want you to write it and we want you to get scholarships to join in 9th. We decided that the the benefits of actually joining the 9th, the integrated program were much uh, bigger than all the headaches of transport. The first day I stepped in, I remember there was a maths class and everyone was just interacting and it was nice to see. Everyone, 50 people in the class and all of them were just bringing out ideas, were talking to the teacher, talking to each other. So it was really a nice learning environment and and such such an environment is what I think Fiji gives to every student who joins their integrated program. And uh, fortunately there were exams throughout the year. There's there's a mid phase, there's a phase, there are there are four phases in eleventh it's in ninth itself. So uh, yeah, so those exams give you give you a platform to actually assess how you're improving day by day and where you stand with your with your classmates. And I was getting better and better with each with each exam. I I think I topped one exam in the middle somewhere, and yeah, I was feeling happy that I was actually improving. And then at the end of ninth came the first major exam, which was NSEJS. Yeah, I just I just wrote the exam without any. Uh, I wasn't really analyzing past year papers or anything. I just went and wrote it and I qualified by the skin of my teeth. I I think I was right on the cutoff. And that exam was also with it wasn't only ninth standard. It was if uh it was certain tenth standards who were born in the same year as us. So they they were also eligible to write the exam. So it was it was an achievement, uh qualifying an exam where they also could take part. And so I got a major confidence boost from it. In 10th, 10th is a big year. With I, The first exam that comes up in 10th is NTSC, which is the National Talent Scholarship exam. And yeah, that has two stages, stage one and stage two. And stage one was what everyone was talking about. About uh, seven, eight months before the actual exam, countdowns were starting. Uh, teachers were like, yeah, this is the biggest exam of your life. You have to do well. So start from now, if you start two to three months before, you will face a really difficult task of actually preparing for the exam. And in terms of all the other subjects, maths, physics, chemistry, biology, a mental ability, so many tests, so many tests every day. And yeah, that you you would do well in some of the tests, you would do bad in some of the tests, but from each test you would have you would learn something. You would you would do your test analysis and you would actually note down uh, concepts where you're struggling with, concepts where you would ask the teacher for help and you would, you would improve. And you would see in the, 
in the subsequent exams you would actually notice that yeah i did these types of questions well just bef i think just a day or two before the exam uh, i had some doubt regarding something in maths and i was just calling i was just calling my teacher and yeah he he picked it up immediately he was in i think he was in some class or something but he just picked it up said i'll call you later and he called me later and just uh, yeah clarified my doubt so yeah i could approach them whenever i wanted to and i could clarify my doubts as well this is this is where my journey actually starts and when when you start writing chapter tests chap tests as they like to call it uh, every day almost or once in two days that's when you will start feeling things picking up so this would be a right time to mention how you would be influenced by certain people around you who who might be your friends as well or just competitors uh in other classes they might they might be going somewhere else to other institutions to get uh to learn more topics to learn advanced topics but that's all really unnecessary even though they might get a short term advantage by learning all that it's it's us who will be really benefited if you follow a strict a pattern that's been followed by so many people in the past to actually get results so everything will be covered here it's not like fiji is going to miss out anything and they just have a better way of uh a better process and a better sequence of topics in fiji and make use of the teachers at fiji because if you approach them they'll happily grant you one on one doubt sessions and uh that would be at least 2 hours long and so if if you are well prepared with your doubts and certain concepts that you want them to explain it will all go really smooth and I I myself have done it for certain chapters and after them I really felt that yeah yeah this is where I should be with respect to this chapter and it's on par with all my other strong subjects and chapters as well so that's how that's how 11th goes until uh, I think November or December where uh, olympiad start becoming a a point of focus to everyone So the next big exam for us was KVPY the SA category and it involved biology that that's the main headache for everyone for any JE student writing KVPY and then there was the interview which uh yeah which is a completely new experience because in the 3 years that I was with in the 3 4 years that I was at Fiji we never practiced anything of an interview up till now so it was yeah it was a new type of exam which uh they were calling us after school hours to just attend mock interviews with fiji faculties and it was and it was in the same format as what they do in iisc in the uh in the interview stage so fiji so fiji professors would actually correct you on that they probably they might even be a bit harsh depending on the faculty they might say yeah uh Uh, wear your slippers properly or certain things like that your hair comb your hair or yeah it could be anything but just take it just take it as something that you would have to do for the final interview and yeah so all of this is just mock and it would help you at, in the final interview i went straight to je mains because there were four je mains exams and they were all kept uh, a month's gap away from each other and uh, we were writing the third mains we were writing the fourth mains and then after that it was je advanced uh but just before je advanced uh some doubts started to creep in based on whether what rank would i get because this is our future that's being decided and uh, just uh, just before the je advanced exam i wasn't able to get c at all want to say that uh, in the end mental strength is the most important thing that uh, any student must have in order to crack JE advanced if you need to have your you need to have confidence in yourself that you'll take care of the exam when you write it and i should I have to thank all my uh, teachers my parents all my friends uh, for helping me uh, for pushing me above uh, and bringing me above with them because without them uh, yeah we all would be where we were 4 years ago my parents really helped me at uh, all the times when i was feeling doubtful all the times when i was unsure of whether i could actually crack the exam and obviously all the support with uh, uh 
with day to day things such as travel and food and everything and my teachers obviously they that that one of that the main reasons for why why i even wrote j advanced and cleared it they they gave me more than enough subject knowledge and uh, more more than uh, more than the subject knowledge it was uh, their experience at uh, the exam and the questions that came in the exam and Uh, their tips for actually uh, maintaining your cool, focusing, and all the other small things that they provide. So, yeah, thank you.